When it comes to luxury, Japan is the last country you think of. However, what if we told you there was something amazing made in Japan that Australia and most markets didn't get? And that is this, the Toyota Crown, and this is a perfect daily driver. Here's why. Let's start with talking about what drives this car. Now mind you, this is not the type of high performance vehicles that we usually test, but this, at this price, is one of the best deals in the house when it comes to luxury. Now. It's driven by a 3.5 litre inline 6 which pushes out 311 horsepower and 377 newton meters of torque. And a good example can cost you anywhere from 30,000 all the way up to 45 grand. And at that price, honestly, you can get a BMW 3 Series or a Mercedes C class. Uh, not the M class, but you can get a luxury car. But this car gets something that they don't, and that's reliability. And it's not just that, it gets multiple features that no other German manufacturer had back in 2013, making it truly ahead of the curve, even in 2024. Despite this being a Toyota, it gets a heated steering wheel, which is electronically adjustable, seats which are heated and cooled, and it gets an electronically operated rear blind. And not just that, you get rear window blinds as standard. And the coolest of them all, you get keyless entry, all you have to do is just put your hand here, and you get soft close doors. And now, it's time to take a trip back to 2013 and talk about its exterior design. Now, the most noticeable thing about this car is the massive grille. It's more Lexus than Toyota and about that. Fun fact, it doesn't get a Toyota badge at the front, it gets a crown symbol to make it stand out from other Toyotas. I mean, that works because this does not look like any other Toyota. Now, the front bumper is aftermarket because on the standard car, you just get one light and this does not look like a 2013 car. That's also thanks to this DRL and this upgraded 20-inch wheels. Now, even from the side, this is one good-looking car. One might argue that this is just an upgraded Camry, but it's far from that. For a 2013 car, it looks phenomenal. At the back, now, this is one of my favorite things. The flower lights, this is what we call the flower light at least because when I was a kid we had this Toyota Alien and it had very similar lights which was one dot in the middle and five dots around it and it does look good. Now, you do get a crown badge and finally a Toyota badge to let people know that this is a Toyota. And the whole film we have been saying Athlete X, we were wrong, it's an Athlete G. But overall from the back it looks quite amazing. Now, dual exhaust and overall exterior wise what a beautiful car it does not look 11 years old it looks brand new to be honest then that's thanks to Adelaide Diesel and Garage as well before you go on with the video please like and subscribe because that really helps our channel and helps us get very cool cars like this and special thanks to Adelaide Detailing Guards. and if you're here in Adelaide there's no other shop that we would recommend more than Adelaide Detailing Guards when it comes to paint correction PPF and basically anything related to ceramic coating as well so come check them out and once again major shout out to them okay let's talk about the interior now starting off with the steering wheel like we said before heated electronically adjustable and this does not get a toyota symbol it gets a crown badge to make sure that people know this is not just another toyota the analog this instrumental cluster does look good now there is a small digital screen in between but for a 2013 car this honestly looks so much better for its age now infotainment system the only annoying thing is the fact that it's in japanese and that's not really cool you get your ac controls here which is also operated via a touch screen and i don't know how to go back wait i know how to go back there you go you can operate it via a touch screen and it is pretty responsive especially for the 2013 car so it's with you get two cup holders here you get your cigarette lighters here you get a cd tray here which is very ancient but thank god it's not too visible now storage space here oh scott can open it this way so it goes here you get more storage space here and overall the interior looks quite good and the seats now they are heated and ventilated they are fully electronically adjustable both for the driver and the passenger and they feel quite comfortable if they had a massaging feature that would be perfect and apart from that everything else in here it's very very high quality it's all soft touch you get a sunroof here and let's test the back now the back leg space i mean pretty good head space is pretty good you get your privacy glass like gavin mentioned before and honestly this feels so luxurious and even the mats they feel super high quality this cabin feels like a 7 series let's go for a drive in the toyota crown starting with acceleration it's not the fastest thing to be honest i mean come on 3.5 litre V6, exactly. uh, not a V6, it's an inline 6, but yeah, six. 
It's powerful enough for a daily driver. I mean, yeah. 311 horsepower, it is a bit heavy though. But one thing I really don't like about the car, suspension. Mm -hmm. It is on coils at the moment and you really feel every single bump, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, now I thought driving the M2, which is a lowered suspension and no coils was bad. But this, but is, this just, is just a bit worse. Yeah, especially for a daily driver though. That's yeah. the only thing. I mean, in comparison, both were daily drivers. Oh yeah, but, but that was more fun. Yeah. Anyway, back to this. Now, one thing I really love though, is the fact that the steering is so light. It's very easy to use. It handles perfect. Mm -hmm. And sound insulation is pretty good as well. Which is bare minimum. Yeah, literally. You don't even hear tire noise. It's just Gavin yapping noises all you hear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so overall, I think driving is quite enjoyable in this car. And even though it's not a fully spec sports car, it certainly looks like one. It handles like one. Its acceleration side is not that great, but for an everyday car, it's well, look, it perfect. pushes out 311 horsepower for an everyday car. Yeah, and it's only $30,000. Exactly. What and more could you ask for? It's yeah, affordable. We'll, we'll, might as well just do the final thoughts as well. Exactly, might as well. Okay, you want to start? Yeah, sorry, go. Go uh, ahead. Uh, uh, I would give it as a daily driver compared to the vehicles we have tested so far. I would give it a nine, a nine or eight point five. Yeah, it's it's a solid vehicle. It's nice as a daily driver. It's perfect. Yeah, it's luxurious in its ways, and it's just yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I, about I would agree on it. I would give it a nine point five. Mm -hmm. That's because this car is only thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. And the features that you get is something that you get on a BMW 7 Series, which yes. is... And most some days some features in the vehicle that you do not get in any other vehicle Yeah, well. literally, literally. You get the air vents that just go... Yes, yes. and we have own. tested vehicles that are that cost over $300,000. And they don't have and these they features, don't have these features. literally. Yeah. So I think for a 2013 car, it's so far ahead for its mm -hmm. age. Yeah, it I, thought, I thought Audi was ahead of its age, but Toyota, god damn, it is amazing. Literally, I think this is this has to be one of my favorite cars that we've driven so far. Yeah, and the best thing is, thirty thousand. It's Japanese. It's reliable. Yeah, and it's just wonderful. Like if the calls weren't there and everything, it would have been yeah a bit nicer. But yeah, it's, you, literally, um, you literally feel every single bump. Yeah. But apart from the coils, though, it's a it's perfect just, car. It's just, yeah, it is. Because <laughs> imagine this on an air suspension. Oh. and I have seen videos of like reels of. Crowns with air suspension. Yeah, so that's where we will leave the video. Thank you for yeah. watching. We really do love this car and highly recommend it though. Yes, for sure. Like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next one. So, overall, not a big fan of the coils, but this car is amazing. Thank you for watching Total Talk KU and we appreciate your support.